So, I've finished the lawn bot. Hello, good people of YouTube. Um, or DIYers. Shady Dave here. I'm working on the lawn bot yet again. I'm trying to figure out um, what's good lighting in this cocked office. Um, I'm trying to figure out oh, what is the best way to tackle this uh, this wheel hub problem. So I've actually come up with uh, with an interesting solution. I got some stuff from the uh, model sculpture supply store called Smooth On. So, oh, generic yellow bottle. Smooth On. It's a uh, kind of interesting stuff. Basically, it's just a two-part uh, thing. This is part A. Uh, then we have. Part B right here. Um, it's just a polyurethane resin. Uh, essentially, what I did was I was having some trouble because uh, these dolly wheels aren't really made for uh, for drive wheels. So this center hub part was actually uh, spinning independently of of this part. So uh, that sucked. I mean, not only so I anchored it. This this is the bearing. So I managed to anchor that uh, by using. If I get in close there, you might be able to see. See that little, this little area right here? I made a little square sort of nut fitting that'll fit on top of the uh, the spindle for the motor. And essentially that locked this guy in place, but then this guy started spinning on this part and it looked like it was getting looser. So I'm like, oh man, this really sucks. So what I ended up doing was I took this, uh, this really neat smooth on resin. It, when it dries, it's like really, really hard. Here's a, a a block. It's like it's really really hard plastic when it dries. So essentially, I just poured it into this area, locking this shaft and this little nut area and these bolts all together. So if you turn it, you uh, can't really see it. There we go. And you can see it's all nice and shiny and and neat. Um, so essentially, what I'm going to do is. Now that I have the back part all locked up, first I have to I'm gonna mask off the bottom here, spin it around, put it on top of the spindle for the motor, and then fill up this cavity with resin as well. So it goes inside here and, and locks up everything. Um, the fact that the resin is going to be sort of housed within this sort of metal sheath means that even if there's a little bit of distortion and stuff from the wheel turning, um, it'll all be kept in place in theory by the uh the metal the metal housing here here's a little neat trick for uh pouring this resin stuff i found uh whenever i'm actually adding the stuff together it gets a little air bubbly so be careful when you mix it so it doesn't get too air bubbly here's what i got right now uh when you first start mixing it it gets a little milky and then it goes clear again that means that the reaction is starting unfortunately you only have uh, seven minutes before uh the reaction fully takes place so i'm gonna see if i can do this really quick and get it on camera Okay, so what I'm doing is I'm pouring from one into another so that uh, there's some stuff on the edge of this thing. Uh, the chemicals don't fully mix because it's it gets stuck to the side and you have to really kind of work at it. Since we don't have a lot of time to, to work with this, I'm pouring it into a new plastic cup. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to pour it out into a thin stream onto the mixer like this. It's kind of a bartender's trick too. So what this is doing is because I'm pouring it onto the mixer, it's creating less bubbles uh, in the actual uh, mix, and it's uh, drawing both chemicals out into a thin stream and actually mixing it in the stream as well. So uh, you kind of get a, a nice little uh, double bit there. Now, if you look in here, you can see that uh, it's actually quite clear and nice. So now I have to hurry upstairs and uh, actually start pouring this into the wheel hub. I have that all masked off right now. Okay, so here I am upstairs uh, in my little work shed type area and I'm going to show you what I did. So it's still pretty liquidy but what I did was I mounted it onto the engine here and uh, this area right here is the spindle and basically it's having a 
a grand old time setting up. I didn't cover the bolt completely because I want to be able to take the bolt off so that I can add a, add a washer to that place later. Underneath, see I masked off the bottom of it and I pushed the spindle through. So what's happening is the spindle's actually sort of got a sheath of, uh, you know, two bits of plastic around it. And I put some washers in as, uh, as spacers. There we go. See, those things are washers. I have those in as spacers because uh, when I was putting the wheels on before, it was rubbing up against the wheel hub right there. So I figured by putting a little bit of a spacer in and then allowing the resin to set up, it'll create like a natural little air bearing, a little bit of a bushing uh, so that we don't end up... Uh, ruining Christmas when this thing hardens. So I'll just let this set up. So I've finished the lawn bot. Um, the motor mounts seem to be holding up okay and those neat resin hubs that I uh, that I made uh, didn't shatter upon uh, putting them on the ground. So I don't know, I think this might actually work someday. So here we have the lawn bot. So I'm going to get some help with my father-in-law with the video camera and we're going to take this thing out for a spin. There, and you just need to hold it and, and follow that machine. And follow the machine. Oh, your fingers are in the way. Oh, okay. Yeah. There we go. Cool. Alright, can we turn it on? <clears throat> turn this thing on. Back it up. It's a little wobbly. But not too bad. Wow. Not does, quite enough weight on the front. Because the wheels come up. It bounces a little bit. So what I'm thinking of doing is... Here, can you hold that? Because the weight is... Yeah. So what I'm thinking of doing is um, reversing the polarity of the motors so that... Because that seems to drive a little better. Although it's taking up big chunks of sod with the uh, motor mounts. <laughs> yeah. It's tricky. But hey, it works. It works. Yeah, more weight in the front and you're going to be good. Yeah. Okay, Dave. Thank you I very think much. It looks good.